How's it going guys? It's your boy Free Gains here. So <laughs> anyways, uh, welcome to this video. It's just about media grinding. Uh, this is obviously a question that's asked far too often of just like, where do I grind? I have XAP. First off, just hit the world map and just open it up. Everywhere has markings. It's kind of how I just went and gone to grind at certain areas. Um, some people are like, oh, I've got 220 AP. Where do I go? Just anywhere that's not greater than 220 AP really um, because if you go to the higher areas you're just gonna be inefficient you're gonna be making less money than you could have been doing at a lower area that you could just be genociding an entire species of hordes of monsters and making fat cash out of it rather than killing like super slow groups getting s slow groups getting people getting in people's way people flagging on you and stuff and you're not even like prepared for that zone etc etc so that's really kind of just where should you grind <clears throat> the only exceptions to some of these uh recommendations is probably witch and wizards because they have inherent plus 20 ap to their class uh zerkers can probably ignore about 10 to 20 ap as well um and shies you kind of don't really even need to care about what your ap is you can probably go under like 50 or 60 ap and just have a lot of lifesteal and face tank the mobs as long as you don't get one shot from them those are the only exceptions. Every other class just follow the numbers on the map. Um, some of them aren't here. Archer is a special case. Archer is just get... Uh, uh, let's see here. Item drop. Let's... Where is Aukman Temple here? So... Aukman Temple. Archer is get 250 AP and just live here for the rest of your life. Um, that's pretty much it for Archer. If you don't have 250 AP, don't even play the class, I guess. I'm not really sure what else there is because all I see are archers in there. And um, for the high end zones, high end zones pretty much uh, like 240 AP for Miramok. Party recommended, obviously. So 240. 240 for these areas most of the time once you get to these higher areas i actually recommend not just 240 ap but 240 ap with a kudum equipped not so much a nuver um if you get to 261 with a kudum uh you can forget your nuver and if you have 269 ap with a uh, kudum you can definitely forget about your nuver for pve grinding purposes only um and star's end is pretty much top dollar uh, 280 zone here is the next top dollar, which is not here on this map. It's below there with a pass that you need to get through. And then history is Sulphur 2.0 and Aquaman is Jail 2.0. Um, Jail itself is 210 and Sulphur is 210. I would highly recommend going to Jail over Sulphur. Sulphur is just depression. Um, but you can auto path to Sulphur from Valencia City, which is nice. But Jail, obviously better drops and better overall trash than uh sulfur sulfur you'd have to pray to r and jesus more to carry you for cash funds otherwise um Polly's forest is also really really good money everybody's there these days and talking mad trash to each other i'm just gathering rainbow mushrooms and people are running up to me saying spot taken i'm like i'm just gathering you fucking idiot and gahaz bandits are pretty much about the same as Polly's Force, just different form of drops. If you can actually go through all the elites for Gahaz, it's actually quite just about as equivalent as Polly's, if not slightly more. Kadri's, same same deal as Polly's. If you can get through the elites as well, it could be slightly more. And Dregan's still kind of uh, disregarded, nobody really cares. Kagdom's is actually quite nice of an area, everything's really packed. You can potentially make about 120 mil here an hour if you have Lakiaros uh, taken care of really quick as you go along in the place. Shira Ruins, maybe about 30 to 40 mil an hour. Shira Khan Ruins, about 50 mil an hour. Um, Polly's, yeah, you can go from anywhere from 60 to 70 mil an hour. Ronros, you can make up to 90 mil an hour if you know what you're doing. And um, what else is there? Histria. I'm not a fan of Histria, Gahaz, you can actually make more stuff out of there just because of like the item drops and the weapons that can drop from plus 1 to 15. Um, Waragons is like mini Miramox if you actually kind of want to get an experience of what Miramox might be like down the road if you don't even have any form of gear to hit any of these areas yet. And Basham's uh, kind of okay for EXP. If you want massive EXP, Miramox is the best place for it for just straight up EXP. Gyphon is also good for EXP. Uh, Tungrad belts are very, very rare these days. Not very many are posted, so that's super high-end money. 
And for people who are grinding history of not at Star's End for money, I don't understand because the requirements for Star's End is pretty much the same as history. Um, even though this has 260 AP, Star's End is obviously a lot more dangerous than Histria, but the money is also like way higher. Um, you get a black distortion earring that goes for both 350 mil on the market. That's pretty much three Tungur Ed earrings packed into one. Uh, the critical crystal goes for about 50 to 60 mil each day right now. Histria doesn't. You gotta find like two pieces of a black shard and a red shard in order to make a Tungrad earring or pray to Iron Jesus and get a Tungrad necklace drop from only like three mobs in there that drop it, three or four mobs. And uh, that very come does not come very, very often at all. Um, people are like, what, Star's End only has got black distortion earrings and the fucking crit crystal. But I'm like, yeah, and they don't have scrolls because they drop Kaffir stones and spirit dust will up the ass. Which is like more valuable than the scrolls that come at Histria. So if people are at Histria for money, I don't understand. They should be at Star's End. If you're at Histria, I expect most people are chasing the compass, which makes more sense. Achman would actually be a better place, in my opinion, for for uh, rare scroll drops and stuff because simply because of the amount of mobs versus Histria. Histria's density is still nowhere close to Achman's density. And that's pretty much it in terms of where do I grind. Um, if none of that made any sense to you in this high-end area parts, then that's probably because you're not geared enough to be in those areas, so you should actually be going down to the lower areas. Um, these numbers are very accurate. Uh, if you're like me, if you're at this AP level with Akutum, you will undoubtedly be killing all of these effectively. If you are not, then that means you're either missing skill levels in your attack skills for power scaling or you are not just grouping the mobs together and making use of back attacks and crits more often. That is the only reason why your grind may become inefficient when you are at that recommended AP with a Kudum. Without a Kudum, it should still be decent and that's all I gotta tell you because this question is asked far too often, where do I grind? And most of the time it's obviously for money, money is just well, do an hour at most places at your recommended AP. If you are far beyond the AP, like if you're like 200 AP at Nagas, I don't know what you're doing there. You're just becoming inefficient with your stats now. You could be doing much better at Basilisks, for instance, or even Centaurs, or just straight up Cadres and just Elite chasing with 200 AP or whatnot versus staying at Nagas, which doesn't make sense. Um, EXP, before you can do Mirror Mox, choose areas that have Marnie Stones, obviously. Marnie Stones... Marnie Stone uh, grind areas all ha give much better EXP rates for what they are. If you if you get a greater Marnie Stone at any given area, treat that as like an increase in 706 silver ish about per mob that you kill once you obtain the stone in your inventory as it collects souls for you. Um, how I came up with that number, I'm I'm not gonna explain myself. <laughs> If you actually do the math, you'll understand. It's basically just because of the accessory box that you get out of fulfilling the stone each time over and it's permanent and you can just keep going over and over. So that's like an upgrade to the mob value. And that's about it. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye for now. Peace. What? You get some satisfaction, okay? I'm gonna I'm do all five towers just because yeah, I just goodness. just because I made Man, that, I was just because I made this EXP video. I'm gonna suffer myself with more grinding. <laughs> Dude, I was watching Fake Uni do it, and it was so easy because he's on a striker, so all he does is like use his Q. He like does the triple Q, and he just lands on the next platform, and he just did that over oh and over. Oh my god, over. must be nice. Get... Oh, I did make that jump. Wow. Oh my god, I. <laughs> Did all four towers? No, no, no boat cheating on the third tower. No, no shortcuts. Now I'm just jumping backwards without even looking where I'm going. It's fucking sketch, dude. Oh shit! No, it's all over.